I challenged Vice World Champion Gaku. Can he three star my base for $500? Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Gaku of the Queen Walkers is the next player for the Judo Sloth Challenge. If this is your first time watching, he has to attack three of my bases. And every base he three stars is $100. If he three stars all three bases, he wins the $500 grand prize. But there are special rules. Many of you will know these by now, but every time he uses a troop, let's say for example the healer, that troop is banned from future attacks. And the exact same principle applies to these spells. So he's going to have to be careful on the strategies he uses to to give you context for anybody that hasn't watched the series, I sent all of my bases to Gaku, but with scout view enabled. This means he could formulate plans much like in war, but he could not see where any of the traps were. In terms of my defending clan castle troops, I think we stick with the ice golems, it's worked pretty well previously. Just want to double check the base, and this is the one Gaku wants to attack first he is in for the first attack i love to see what they use regular barbarian super archer one wall breaker and the e dragons look at that super archer this is why we love gaku sniping or attempting to snipe an air defense now this is one of those horrible ring style bases so i'm looking forward to seeing how he takes it down Rage and Freeze spells are going to be banned after this first attack. Now, just to let you know, I do not class the Super Troop and the regular Troop as the same, so he could use a Archer in future attacks. He's used one Wall Breaker here, so likewise, he could use Super Wall Breakers in future attacks. And the Battle Blimp gets all of the way to the core with the Rage spell and the brand new Rocket Balloons. I think he had regular Balloons in... In fact, he has them in his army. So that's an interesting choice because now he can't use rocket balloons or regular balloons in future attacks. But the E-Drags are doing a very good job around the outside of the base and through the core. He still has two freeze spells, the queen ability, the royal champion ability, Gaku, starting off strong here. And honestly, I don't think I can jinx it at this point. It is $100 to start off this war. Start off this war? Gaku, you have me speechless, my friend. You have me tongue-tied to start off this challenge. Swagging two freeze spells. What is he doing to me? One minute and 27 seconds left, but let's update the banned list. I have clarified in the chat the banned list, and the second base he wants is actually my home village. So let's throw that up. I did say Gaku could spend as long as he wants. So let's come back when he's ready. He's in. I always do this. I was checking our subscriber count. Three quarters of a million, my friends. Thank you so much. Okay, regular archers this time. Super giants, mass witches, lightning, earthquake. I love it. Let's see what he's got for us. Come on, Gaku. So he's using the zap quake method to take out a scatter shot and an inferno tower. Also creating a little bit of pathing there for the witches. Now the inferno that he took out was on multi. Very wise with a witch attack because he's aiming to just surround the singles. Let's see, where did the eagle lock onto? It's onto one of the super giants, so that's okay. The log launcher can open up everything to the town hall. And I note that he has not used a jump spell. He's taken four earthquake. That's really handy in this situation because not only does he get the walls open, he's got damage onto so many of those key buildings and the log launcher almost took out the town hall. But he also has access to a jump spell for future attacks. Now I'm a little bit worried about this central area. I think he wanted the log launcher to get the town hall. It should go down momentarily, but the ice golems... In fact, he has ice golems. I have ice golems in my clan castle. He has ice golems in his clan castle. What is happening right now? It is an ice golem versus ice golem battle in the center of the base. Notice the royal champion to the top left just trying to side swipe the base as the queen is distracted, which is very nicely take out the single target inferno on the right hand side. Once this eagle goes down, there's not a lot left here for this 
days to defend. And look at the time. One minute and 30. I mean, Gaku, give me a chance. Please. He took down my first base in pretty much half of the time. Looks like he's taking down this base in pretty much half of the time. And this is the most devastating Judo Sloth challenge we have had. He has demolished my bases right now. Queen's ability left over. There's those archers just picking off the buildings at the side. Beautiful job. And that one archer tower can do whatever it can. But I don't think it's going to beat the queen ability. All of the witches, I just have to accept. That's $100 to Gaku. So he now has $200. And if he three stars the next one, well then, say it with me. You know what happens. He gets the $500 grand prize. My one little archer tower. Maybe if it was upgraded following the update. But I doubt it. Gaku has torn apart my base. And okay, the next attack is going to be the big one. But let's update the band list and see what he's got. The banned troops and spells have been updated, and this is where it gets the most difficult because there's so many more troops and spells banned. This is the final base that Gaku wants, but can he do it? Gaku being very polite, letting me know he is ready so I can start the recording, and here we go. It is the Mass Dragons. Heal spells, invisibility spells, starting with the battle blimp towards the town hall. Super wizards, actually. I thought he was going to have sneaky goblins because they aren't banned, or at least I don't think they're banned. No, definitely not on the banned list. But he uses the super wizards, gets that town hall down, and where is he moving in from with the dragons? This is interesting because normally we do not see heal spells with the dragons. Uses one of them to funnel on this side. So it looks like he's flying in towards the multi-target inferno at the top. And you know what? The heals could be pretty good here because he's got the multi-target inferno and two scatter shot that he could heal the dragons through. And you can notice their brand new level as well. So a wise choice to use the dragons. Uses one heal to get through the multi-target inferno. Second heal is in as well. Tanking for that scatter shot. The dragon's just getting healed up. Queen very nicely picked off the air defense on the right hand side. And we've also got the king. There's a gap in the wall. The king can get that air defense. Dragons continue through the center of the base. He's lost one of them down to the bottom, but really that's not the end of the world. It seems like he has so many dragons. What is happening right now? One of them goes down to the scatter shot. Oh, the dragon's at the bottom caught in the tornado trap. He is using the invisibility spell to try and push dragons to the single target inferno. Is it enough? The oh, the ice golems come out. No. Whoa. Oh, the, the owl took down the single target inferno. If that owl did not take down the single target inferno, I think this might have been a fail. I kind of stopped what I was saying because I thought he was going to fail. And now it is back on track. How do you remain calm like this, Gaku? Maybe he's not. Maybe he's shaking like me. $500 on the line. And it seems he's still going to get this done because he has the queen ability. The royal... The royal champion hasn't even been used. Gaku, the heroes are not on the band list, my friend. <laughs> wow. So the dragons take down the multi. The queen has the ability. I will be honest, this one was scary. He's waiting for the defenses to go down to deploy the RC over this side. Look at that. Very, very nice. Oh, will she get it? Queen's ability can be used. RC needs to take these buildings. We had a time fail with Klaus of the Queen Walkers. I'll link you across to that video in a moment. A little bit of a spoiler alert, but Gaku making sure he got this one done. $100. Thank you so much for taking part, my friend. $500 to Gaku. If you want to see teammate Klaus of the Queen Walkers take on this challenge, I have it linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care, and I will see you in the next video.